Hi, this is Mr. Guy, and we're going to go over the determinants of demand or the non-price shifters of demand. So if there is an increase or decrease in demand, it has really to do with nothing to do with the price of the product. And it has to do with there's five determinants, and you want to look at these. So the first determinant is population. So the population of the state, the community, in that area where you're selling your product, if your population goes up, there's more buyers, there's more consumers, your demand will increase. If there's less people in the area, say like you're in Wyoming and the population's going down and down and down, your demand for products will be going down. Second determinant is income. So if people in the country, people in the area have more income, the demand for products will increase. So if people have more money to spend, they'll spend the money. So income is a determinant that will shift the demand curve to the right or to the left. Then we have tastes and preferences. This is kind of like just basically if the popular is popular, if the product is a fad or something like that. If, if it is more popular, the demand will go up. If it's less popular, the demand will go down. So say like if we look at SUVs at one point in time, they were in demand, they were popular. So the demand for SUVs was going up and the demand curve for S, uh, minivans was going down. They were seen as less popular. Uh, you know, you look at all of the technology, the phones, the demand is going up, they're more popular. And if you look at typewriters, and if you look at older technology, demand is going down. Next one is future expectations. So we look at the future, and we if, if we expect the price to go up in a month, we're basically going to buy more of it now, so the demand will go up now because the price is going to go up. So we look at if I have income and I know my income is going to increase in a month, I'll buy today because I'll pay it back with income. So if I get commissions or if I get a bonus or if I get a raise, I'll actually spend more just like with income. If I get an increase in income, I'll spend more money. So if I expect uh, money in the future, I'll spend it. And then we have other products. So if I'm looking at say the demand for hamburgers and I'm looking at the demand for hamburgers, well there's a substitute. A substitute is where you take a cheaper product and substitute it for a lower product. So say I have hamburgers and say the price of hot dogs goes down, people will not buy hamburgers anymore, they'll buy hot dogs. So the demand for hamburgers will go down, the demand for hot dogs will go up. Um, so you look at other products, is it a substitute? Um, other common substitutes might be um, butter and margarine, you might have steak and chicken, you might have generic and others. We just, if there is price goes up, you buy more of the cheaper products. So price of apples goes up, you buy oranges. And then you have complements. So you have complements, and these are when you buy one product with another product. So sample complements could be shampoo and conditioner. There could be spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. There could be hot dogs and hot dog buns or hamburger and hamburger buns, ketchup and mustard. But if you buy one product, you must buy the other product. One of my favorite ones is paint. Um, whenever I go to Home Depot or Lowe's and I need paint, I've got to buy paint brushes. So in this case, if the price of paint goes down, so that means more people want paint, the quantity demand goes uh, up, then more people will buy paintbrushes. So, and then the opposite, if the uh, price of paint goes up, less people are buying paint, and then the demand for paintbrushes goes down. So these are all shifters of demand. They increase or decrease demand. They One goes in one direction, one goes in the other. Um, these are non-price related to the product because only the price of the product, so if I'm looking at hamburgers, if the price of hamburgers goes up or down, that's a movement along the line. These are items that shift the demand curve to the right or to the left. These are determinants of demand or they're non-price determinants of demand or non-price factors that shift the demand curve to the right or to the left.